Roxy's Go Homesteading. Today's video is going to be um, about Go Pregnancy Kit. It's just the things I have on hand. I don't have everything, but little pictures of what, when I say what I need, I'll put little pictures and they'll pop up in this corner or this corner or they'll be up there somewhere. And let's get into the video. And also, so please subscribe. Um, Rose, the one that I'm getting this pregnancy kit ready for, is due any day. So hopefully next Wednesday I'll have a video up of her babies that I recommend having on hand and a bunch of or towels or those puppy pads like the pee on them and all that. They also help dry things off. Uh, towels, I just have like four or five towels in my bag. I'll show you my bag in a second. So little ones and big ones, depending on how big your goats are. I don't dry in gear and dwarfs, so they're small. So one big towel usually is good, but I usually have four or five on hand. Next thing I recommend having is a thermometer. It can just be a regular thermometer that you use on humans or whatever. I have this thermometer. I'll link everything I mentioned in the description below. Um, that way you can check the baby's temperature and the mom temperature if you think something's wrong. You can just see if they have a fever or not. That can help know what their symptoms are or cool them down or whatnot. I think a ghost temperature is in between 102 and 103, but I'll put what it is right at the bottom here. The next thing I recommend having is uh, this thing. I forgot what it's called, but basically you stick it in their throat not very far in their nose just to get all the mucus out so they can breathe um yeah this is very handy if they can't breathe you can just suck some of the mucus and their bag and whatever is in there to help them breathe next thing i recommend is some goat electric lights to help the moms rejuvenate just help them get what they lost back into their system you also, I recommend also, this is like my emergency bath something, but I would recommend heating up some warm water and putting molasses in there. It has lots of vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes, just what this has. And it also warms, it's warm, so it's soothing in their insides at the same time. The next thing I recommend is this quick start. Quick start. It just helps the babies or the moms, whatever, if they have like diarrhea or something, they're just not, they're just weak, then I recommend getting some of this. It just helps them get their boost they need. Also probiotics, that's also good to have on hand. I don't have any right this second. I did just use my last bit of it. I'll post what it looks like up here. And it's really good for the moms and babies. It helps boost their ruminant to help them uh, grow their ruminant as they grow. Because when they're born, their ruminant is not fully developed. Next thing I recommend having on hand is a cow fresh. Uh, it's just in calcium and B12 gel for goats. Um, it just helps have them have an easier delivery. And yeah, this is also good to have on. And so I also usually have on hand a selenium uh, gel for the babies in case they get weak kingdom said weak kid syndrome where they're like they can't stand very well. You give them some selenium and they usually jump back pretty fast within a day. They'll usually be as good as new. I also have a fortified. Uh, vitamin B complex. It's also good. I have everything in bags, so if something like they didn't get everywhere. So yeah, it just looks like just like that. Fortified. Because this um goats need this to help their ruminant. You can also get the shots, but I just have the gel. I also have a pair also have a pair of uh, sterile scissors. I have them in a Ziploc bag. And just in case uh, their 
umbilical cord is too long, I would cut it and then put some Benadine on it. That's also another thing to have good ha on hand. I also put that up in there. Um, it just helps keep bacteria and stuff from growing and keep them safe from any cuts or anything. It's just good to have on hand in general. So, usually I have a bottle. I have a bottle of it. I have the swabs or just like the pads that has benadine in it and just wipe it on the cut or wound or whatnot. So I also recommend getting a lamb puller. I don't have one yet, but I'm looking into getting one. I'll put a picture like that. It's just very small one for goats and lambs. It just, if something did happen, you do want to have stuff on hand in case you do need assistance. Also have a vet on hand have them written down somewhere that way you can call them just make sure with the vet that they can come out and save potentially save your goat i live out far from town so it is very important to have stuff on hand that way you might be able to save a goat before the vet gets is here they probably in an emergency situation you want to know what how to save your goat Another thing I have on hand is a feeding to tube for a baby goat. It has not been used. It's still in the sterile package, but this just hooks, hooks up to a big needle just in case they're not eating and you need to get something in them. That's just a good option, but make sure you know what you're doing and have a vet on hand, like I said, just to make sure you're doing it properly because you can get in the lungs and and all of that you don't want to mess up anything else and put fluid where fluid is not supposed to go another thing you might want to have on hand is a flashlight i have lights out there so i don't need a flashlight but i do have one in my bag just in case a headlamp is also good because it stays on your head and you don't have to hold it um another thing if you're in cold areas or it's cold when they have their babies you might want to look into getting a heat lamp or goat sweaters I know a person that on Etsy that sells goat sweaters that I'm looking into getting a couple. I'll link that in down in the description. In an emergency situation, they will work. So all that stuff goes into this bag and it sits by my door, waiting for whatever it happens. You can also use a five gallon bucket or just a normal bag. I just use this bag. It's nice and sturdy and holds up really well. Ruby. Oh, you look so big. Oh, yes, not the camera. Oh, yeah. Any day now. Thank you so much for watching. Look forward to my next video, which is next Wednesday. I post every Wednesday. So make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.